Scott O'Neill was talking about uh, his uh, entry with a PTO contract with the Manitoba Moose and how he just took advantage, and no one plays his system better than Guillaume Debian. This summer we were talking with a couple teams, and uh, Vancouver came in the picture. And you know, first thing I thought, first thing I thought about is when we're talking to Vancouver is that you know, farm teams in Chicago and. Uh, I was excited because I know both organizations I haven't played with both and uh, my wife's from Minnesota so she would be uh, you know close to uh, to home to uh, give birth to her first uh, first child so it was uh, just a easy fit and you know it was, I, I like my time in Chicago I love the city I love the fans so it was just a really really easy decision. Front of the goal Polak couldn't pick it up now fresh out of the box is Davian the race is on he might be in he is Davian the shot he scores how about that for timing? He steps out of the box and the puck laying there for him. Off he went, and Davian makes it one nothing. I remember uh, when we were down three to one to Rockford, and then uh, the rally mustaches came out. It was, uh, it was a good time, and we didn't lose too many games after that. And then, you know, it was just uh, so many good memories. But that was uh, definitely one of them. I think we were up to nothing in the series, and then the third game wasn't going so good, and. Uh, I uh, was playing with uh, Matt Anderson and Mike Hamilton back then, and uh, you know we had uh, two goals actually on that in that game, and we ended up winning that game and took the you know the three nothing lead in the finals. Um, I didn't play as much as I would have liked to back then, but you know that's what the playoffs are. You do what you're asked to do, and um, I felt like our line did what we were asked to, and we helped. And you know as small as it was, we helped in our way, and you know the leaders did the, the rest. Oh, and Guillaume Damien. Damien going with the jab. Selleck trying to reset, get position. He comes back with a right. Damien has the helmet off of Selleck and he connects with a couple rights. Selleck right back on his skates. And the line staff will get in between the two of them, Dan Deneen and Al Stenslin. When I came to play here against the Wolves, it was always like, ah, you know, I wish it was me going out there. And, uh, be on the walls again, but uh, yeah, definitely glad to be back. And now for your captain, number 21, Guillaume Tabian. Um, you think, you know, wearing an A and it's going to be easy. It, it, it's tough to be a leader and there's a lot of things that you need to do and, uh, and a lot of things that you need to act on, off and on the ice. And it, it's hard, but I've learned a lot in the last few years and I'm better prepared and I think I definitely can take on that role this year. We got introduced actually at a Wolves game. I wasn't playing uh, back then, and uh, um, Jolie Arose, who was obviously Corey Arose's uh, wife, um, it used to work with her in Minnesota. And um, my wife Alexa came and visited the the, the Rose, and she came to a game. And um, Corey would tell me, "It's like, hey, she's coming. Like, I want to introduce you, but Jolie doesn't really want you to meet her." And uh, I was like, okay. So I met her that game, but um, I wasn't allowed to uh, talk to her. She was really young back then. She was 18 and uh, wasn't allowed to talk. She, they wouldn't give me her phone number. So we had to, we had to work our, our things, but uh, we ended up uh, being able to talk to each other. And uh, for the first couple of years, she didn't want to do anything with me for some reason, but uh, she came through. It was a really uh, small wedding. We, had, we were 13 guests. and. Uh, uh, just our close family and uh, one of our, our one friend each, and uh, it, it was fun. We spent the whole week together. Went to the beach every day. Uh, obviously, there was the wedding, and like we celebrated, and it was the weather was awesome. So we had the, the best time, and then we went on our honeymoon after that. Baby on the way, due December 24th. Uh, it's a little girl. Yeah, so we're uh, really excited. A lot of uh, good things happening in my life uh, lately, and um, I've been pretty fortunate. And you know. You, getting married is awesome, but you know having your first child is you know something else. So we're uh, we're both really, really, really excited.